Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z and uh, welcome to another uh, hot shot video. What we're doing today, uh, we're auto tuning this controller. We're going to set the PID in it. Now, the PID is an acronym for proportional, integral, and derivative. So, PID has a very specific function and it stops the roller coaster ride. This controller has not been tuned. I want you to watch what the uh, actual temperature in the oven is doing. Uh, without the PID set, it's basically just set up for on and off. So the temperature is coming down. As soon as it gets below the set point, it's back on. And see there's some lag there. And our, our dip in the system is 1489, 90. Okay, now it's climbing back up. And see that output's going to stay on until we hit exactly 1500. Boom, see now it's off and we've overshot. So basically the temperature inside the oven is on a roller coaster ride. And it's gonna stay that way until we set the PIDs, which is the anticipation level of the controller to know when it's approaching heat. Basically, we have to teach the controller uh, the time between when it calls for heat and when it gets heat. So you're, you're inserting a uh, a logic into the unit. Now we can auto-tune this and these all these little ovens have been pretty much the same. We're going to push and hold P until we see auto-tune pop up and then we're going to scroll through this and we see our proportional band is set to zero, nothing. So we're just set up for on off and if PB is set to zero then our uh, I and our D, our integral and our derivative uh, aren't even in uh, the menu. All, we go straight to hysteresis. All right, actions reversed. Output is output once for control. Output two is now being used, and we're back to our main screen. Now uh, we're going to go back to that auto tune screen. Push and hold. Auto tune is off. Uh, there's two modes. We're going to go to fa uh, there's fast and full. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable that. And now what it's doing? See, we've got a tune light on. It's going to take you know about five minutes for this thing to tune, and what it's doing is it's learning. Uh, it, it's going to apply a command for heat, and it's going to learn how long it takes till it gets heat, and then it's going to. It's also going to learn that when it removes the command for heat, how fast does the oven cool down? So we're going to try to get the oven to run, uh, you know, more stable, and you know try to keep our within limits. So let's. Uh, uh, I'm not going to sit there and wait for the whole thing to, to tune, but when that tune light goes out, the thing's auto-tuned and our PID levels are going to be automatically set within the unit. Now, you should always do the auto-tuning at the temperature you typically run, wherever you want it the most stable. I don't, I'm auto-tuning these things at uh, 1500 degrees. So, uh, let me bring you back when this thing's auto-tuned and show you um, how the how the temperature is no longer on the roller coaster ride will go into the PID menu and look at the values uh, that it automatically selected. All right, so let's uh, uh, let's bring you back in a bit. Okay, we're back and we're done with our tuning. I want you to watch uh, how stable it is. You know, this thing's uh, pretty much plus two minus zero on uh, stability. The highest number I've seen so far is 1502 and the lowest number I've seen so far is 1500. So it's, the oven's running real stable, and even though we're beyond our set point, you can see the output just tickling there, uh, just to maintain the temperature. So uh, we've turned a dumb controller into a smart controller. Um, now let's go take a look at the PID levels, see which levels they selected for this oven. Uh, we're gonna come in and we're gonna push and hold again until we see auto-tune. The auto-tune has turned itself off, uh, you don't need to turn that on unless you need to, unless you want to retune at a different temperature. Uh, let's see, now our proportional band is, is set for 2.8. Uh, our integral rate is set for 1.66. And our derivative time is set for 6. So what does that mean? What is, you know, here, let's get back to the main screen. Uh, what does that actually mean and what, how does that affect the operation of the oven? Now, I wrote a cheat sheet here. Just so you could see, we got proportional, integral, and derivative. 
Now, if your oven has a slow answer, which means between the time you call for heat and you get heat and we're dipping down really low, you take your proportional and you decrease it. If we have excess oscillation, if we're up on a roller coaster ride, you increase your uh, proportional. All right, uh, integral, um, that's inverted. Slow answer, we increase our integral rate and then excess oscillation, we decrease uh, our integral rate. So just take the numbers down little bits. If you, know, if you want to dork out on this and get your oven dead on, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the next one is derivative. Uh, slow answer on the oven, uh, we decrease the derivative rate. And excess oscillation, we increase the derivative rate. So that's what the PID, when someone says they've got a PID controller, that's what they've got. They've got uh, the ability to set the anticipation of the temperature controller and turn a dumb controller into a smart controller, all right? Uh, but I thought that would help you out uh, and help you understand uh, the PID controllers on, on, on what they're doing. As they're approaching their set point, they're anticipating pulling the heat away before you actually hit that set point so it doesn't overshoot. Uh, that's on the upswing of the heat. Now on the downswing, it does very much the same thing. If it sees the oven dropping off too quickly, it's going to compensate for that and start uh, you know, giving some output to try to maintain the temperature. It's going to do whatever it can do to maintain that temperature. All right? But I thought I'd uh, show you the, uh, uh, the PIDs, how to set them, and you can set them yourself. Uh, let's say this oven... Its intended use was only 400 degrees. Uh, these, those PID settings wouldn't be very good. We'd probably get a lot of oscillation right at 400 degrees. So we would want to auto-tune it at 400 degrees. All right, so I, I just thought I'd uh, show you that. Uh, it was interesting, and uh, a lot of people don't really understand what the PID means. I uh, hope that helped clear things up. Thanks for watching.